Welcome to Danielle Scraps. My name is Danielle and I'm glad that you're here. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, and that bell so you don't miss another tutorial. Hi everyone. This is a tour of my scrap space or my little studio where all of the magic happens. So join me as I give you a tour on why and how I do what I do. So I'm going to start here on the left of my workstation and I have just this, it holds like pots and pans if you will, um, mechanism and I have my notebooks in here to write things out, my catalogs, my Versamart, Versamats, um, any uh, trimmers that I might need to use. It's also where I keep my blending brushes, my small rulers, bone folders, and maybe a pen or two. So that's my left side of my workstation. Directly in front of me, I keep all of my inks. Um, they are separated out. So you can see here, I have all of my greens, oranges, and yellows. On the left-hand side, I have the ones that I use for personal use. They have a green dot on them, and that tells me that it's retired. All right, next to those are all my neutrals. So right on the right-hand side are all of the ones that are current in the catalog. And then again, the left is retired. Except for the cases that you see like this, those are current, but those cases are re are retired and they still have a lot of ink left in them. So I go ahead and use them. So if we come on over to the middle section here, I have all of my scissors and adhesives, my shimmer brushes, any of my tweezers that I need, any pickup tools that I need, small bottles of adhesive, all of my journaling pens are up here. I have black, I have colored, and then my white gel pens. Then I come into my spritzers, watercolor brushes, um, some X-Acto knives, and then I end up with some of my embossing pens. My styluses are over here, and then any of these white erasers. I use white erasers so that when I'm drawing lines, I can quickly erase them. In the center here, um, at the bottom are all of my markers. Now, half of them are missing because they're pulled for a project right now, um, but that's where I keep all of my markers. And then to the right in front of me, I keep my Ot light up here. And then down here are the rest of my inks. Again, these are all current and in the catalog. These are current in the catalog, but the case is retired. And then these I just use for personal use because I like those colors. At the top up here, you will see that I have my craft mates that hold all my ribbon or my shimmer trim and my twine. And then down here, I keep all my Distress Oxide inks. And I'm gonna pull this out and just show you how I use this. This is awesome because I just put little Velcro dots at the top of the lid and then these Velcro right on top of there. My inks are in the bottom and then my brushes and maybe some extra um, toppers are at the bottom here because you can see where that they have sort of fallen off so I need to fix that. So that's where all of my um, things go that are directly in front of me. All right, to the right of me is where I keep all of my current thin cuts in my stamping platform and that is just on this little um, office supply sorter um, that you would use for like manila envelopes and things like that. I have two more cannies down here. These are black and as you can see I have all of my black um, articles sort of for the most part looped together and that's just for lighting purposes. Um, and then I have all of my sequins down here for shaker cards. Um, anything that I'm using to create designs I use this grid uh, dotted paper here, any pictures for upcoming scrapbooks that I want to do next. Up here is where I keep some of my tools, my um, tape that, masking tape, and up here I keep a lot of my sponges for inking for different techniques. And this is my junk drawer, so <laughs> if I don't know where it goes, it just lands in here like that quarter. So that is to the right of me. Moving past my table and to the right of me is this tall tower and this is where I use a lot of my embellishments and stamping. So quickly, this is just where I keep some of my cleaning supplies for stamping and or moving out some of those little pieces from my thin cuts that I use. At the top, you can see my envelopes. So I have all of my bases that are pre-cut and ready to go. Envelopes are over here, things of that nature for card making. My second drawer has all of my um, blocks that I might need for stamping if I'm not using my platform. My third drawer down are all my embellishments. I like to keep them quickly and closely nearby. Um, and then as we go down, I have my adhesive um, 
drawer. So this is where I keep every all of my 3D square foams, um, acetate for shaker cards. Um, sometimes still I have some retired stuff in here that we had a long time ago, but this is everything that I need to um, assemble stamping and card making and things like that. Um, at the very bottom, in the larger drawers, I have all of my stamps, and right now I'm in the middle of a purge, so it's pretty empty. To my right and behind me is my cutting station. So here is where I keep my Big Shot and my all of the things that I need for that. Over here is where I keep my Cricut. And then over here is a nice collection of white daisy or um, French vanilla, anything that's white that I might stamp and, and die cut with. I also keep my brayers over here and that helps me secure all of my Cricut mats. Then directly behind me is this fun little countertop here, and this is where I do a lot of my assembly. Um, it's where I create all of my layouts before I um, get them all set up so that they are ready for um, photos and things of that nature. Then directly behind me, I have all of my idea books from Close to My Heart. So these are all patterns for scrapbook making. And then over here is all of my shipping stations. So this is when I'm ready to ship out my kits or things like that. This is where all of that happens is right over here. My cardstock stays to the left of me and back behind me on this really cool paper rack here. And so I have it color coded just as you would find it in the catalog. Next to that, I have extra tools that I might use. And then all of these are divided up by my family and my children and they all have pictures in them that need to be scrapbooked or supplies to make kits or maybe extra inks for workshop cl in-person classes. And then directly behind um, that is where I keep all of my scrapbooks that I'm currently working on. And this all has to like go and be purged and delivered to um, the nursing home and the preschool. These are all of my retired stamps that I absolutely love and I'm not going to get rid of kind of deal. So I love this little station over here. And one last thing that I want to talk about before I go is this little collection over here. These are pictures that I love that I want to do, but I don't know what I want to do with them yet. Um, they are lots of just little trinkets and things that have come along the way. Maybe some things that I want to um, just incorporate in a scrapbook, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. In the top of this, you can see all kinds of sorted bags here. And what this is, is as I work on a project and I'm done with the cardstock, I throw it in here. And then later in the week, I will go through and I will sort them by color family into these bags here, excuse me. And then when I am crafting for myself, I shop here first. Uh, all my pattern paper scraps go in here and then I can make my personal scrapbook um, or cards or things like that. I shop here first for that. Whereas if I'm doing a workshop or a kid for my customers, then I am going to obviously open up a brand new product and use that. So any scraps that are from here will make their way over here when I'm done. And then this just helps me keep organized so that I'm not wasteful when I'm going to do additional projects that maybe I don't need a full paper packet or something like that for. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour and I've given you some ideas for creating a flowing space for yourself.